It's mostly science and fiction. Mostly. The Orville, Why Critics Hate It. That's the name of this video, but it should be called The Orville, Why Critics Hate It, but most people actually like it. Well, they seem to anyway. The Orville is Seth MacFarlane's latest little romp. I don't need to explain the show in too much detail, but it's basically a Star Trek parody, pretty much. But at least that's what I thought it was gonna be, as did most of the critics. The thing is, it doesn't really parody Star Trek so much as that it basically is Star Trek, but with much more comedy and a fair bit of dick and fart jokes thrown in for good measure. And I think we can all agree that dick and fart jokes never get old. So if it's not a parody, what is it? I think the show is more of a homage to Star Trek, a dedication, an inspired tribute more so than a parody as it doesn't really make fun of Star Trek but draws heavily from it. It really is made by a huge Star Trek fan and although it's riddled with silly characters and a fair bit of toilet humour, it doesn't really rely on it. In my opinion, the Orville is more Roddenberry Star Trek than the latest Star Trek, Star Trek Discovery. Though I don't dislike Discovery, it's, it's actually very good. It, it just doesn't have that old school sci-fi feel. I like a bit of camp in my sci-fi. I, I like really realistic sci-fi as well. Battlestar Galactica took itself very seriously and that is one of my all-time favourite shows. Stargate was extremely corny at times and, and that's one of my favourites too, if not my all-time favourite science fiction series. The Orville got panned by critics, or as I like to call them, shittics. <laughs> ah, good stuff. Because I believe, based on their comments and reviews, that they expected a full-blown parody like Spaceballs or Mars Attacks or whatever, but instead we get what is almost a missing Star Trek series. It does have a lot of humour, but also the Orville tackles some pretty serious subjects and doesn't just fart all over them, such as transgender issues, child sex change, gay marriage, women's rights, religion and so on, and unlike most of Seth McFarty bums other stuff, when it comes time to talk about these deeper issues, they don't, surprisingly, take them lightly. The Orville can be quite deep and serious at times, especially when handling these subjects. It doesn't sugarcoat them, and this is what the critics didn't seem to want. They wanted full-blown slapstick or nothing at all, it seems. Which is pretty fucked, man. I mean, por que no los dos? All the best sci-fi has both humour and sincerity woven tightly together. Yes, the Orville fails to launch at times with both its jokes and its cliches, but overall it is a fun and easy watch and truly does feel like classic sci-fi. To top it all off, it looks great. It has a wicked budget, the cast are all fine, the special effects are sick, and the celebrity cameos are numerous so, so far. Critics may not like this show, but fans sure do, and it has already been renewed for another three seasons. It is Fox though, so that doesn't really ensure anything or, 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 or mean shit, but hey, so far so good. So basically, I believe critics hate this show because they thought it was going to be something that it's not. It's not one thing, it's not the other thing. It's kind of a mix of both and people don't want that. They either want proper pure nostalgia or something completely brand new. This show is a homage. It reminds us of the other shows while coming up with some, you know, some new stories but some already told. It's a little bit of everything. Critics hate it, but fans like that. We like to be reminded it's fun, it's silly. Critics are dickheads is what I'm saying. So am I and so are you. How do you feel about the Orville? Crappy Seth McCrappy or, in all honesty, a fairly decent homage to Star Trek and an overall fun little sci-fi? It's pretty obvious how I feel. Thanks for watching everyone. If you like my stuff, do the things or check out the things or don't do them. Just do what makes you happy. Unless it's like killing babies. Pro pro probably don't do that. Like, unless you have to, obviously.